just had a brain move idea and um, I bought these stamps a while ago from the range and I've just I said in a previous video um when it might come out after this one I don't know but I've rearranged my storage and found things that I forgot I had and I have this bunch of foam and I'm gonna make some stamps with my dyes. Yes I am. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut my ribbon. I'm gonna put this side here. Not quite quite big enough, but we can do it that way, it's fine. And then hope that the sandwich is gonna be right for this. Doesn't feel like it's cut. Oh, I might be wrong. Let's have a look. Mm, I'm to move it too much. There we go. It's cut. One. I'm going to cut two of those out and um, I will tell you for why. Um, I'm going to mount these on a piece of cardboard so that I have something to grip when I'm stamping. And I'm going to mount one one way and one the other so that I can have them facing any way I like. Good idea, huh? There we go. And um, one. I think I'm going to cut some of my Halloween dyes out as well. I'm so glad I went through all my stuff. <laughs> I found this bunch of foam. Because I forgot all about this. Just a cute little paper. Oh yeah, it's so cute. Um, and some cardboard. Yeah, that was close. Look how close that is to that unicorn. Oh, so cute. And little hearts as well. Oh. Um, yeah. So that's how you cut them out. Um, I say, I'm going to do this to some of my Halloween dies and then I'll mount them and I'll come back and we'll stamp them together and you can see how well they stamp. Okay, so I'm going to try this slightly differently today on the other side. <coughs> now that I've made some changes in my room, you fit there a bit better now and the microphone I believe is on this side. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me a bit better. <coughs> Although my throat seems a bit froggy this morning. So I've glued the stamp onto a piece of card with some glossy accents. I'm going to use this pigment ink. So let's just see how this works. Hopefully it's going to be beautiful. Oh, fantastic. I love it. Hopefully the lighting will be better today too. It's overcast and snowy and horrible outside. But I've only got the lamp on one. The first setting. Because it was, it was too bright before. The thing is it looks fine on the camera. And then when I upload it. It's all washed out and you can't hardly see anything. I'm still playing around with this thing, seeing how we go. And that noise is something to do with the camera. I don't know what it is. I've tried it in different rooms and it still makes that noise. So I'm really sorry about that. 
Um, I am going to try and save up and get a better camera. What I'm stamping onto is um, a sheet of stickers, sort of delivery labels that I've painted my scrappy bits of leftover paint onto. And then I'm going to use die cuts or I might just cut these ones because I'm using a big stamp. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's really cool. Uh, what else have we got already? I'll just start with these part two. buy a new stamp, uh, a new die, get some funky foam from the kids section, cut it out, stick it on a piece of cardboard and you've just doubled the purpose of your die. All the more reason to buy more dies. <laughs> so I hope that uh, was a nice handy tip for you. It's not one that I came up with myself but just thought I'd Keep it going, you know, share, share my knowledge and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.